2034, what are we going to see? Are we going to see a very diverse scientific community, well-funded, with a lot of inventions under its belt? Mm -hmm. But I think in 20 years, there's going to be just amazing kinds of stuff. We're going to be able to, to cure various diseases that are now incurable. And in my field, I think we're going to be able to restore vision in people that have lost vision. Uh, people that have been paralyzed uh, will be able to actually be, use their limbs and do things that we can't imagine now. So yeah, so they're think, trying to think about what's going to happen and what science really going to enable within the next 20 years um, in terms of in, its impacts on society um, and the contributions really that kind of basic research um, brings. Well, I think one challenge is that in a lot of basic research, the the outcomes aren't obviously known within yeah. the first year or two, right? Sometimes we benefit from research that happened, you know, 50 years ago, and we're starting to see the impacts of that research. So, in my in my work, for example, we um, develop computational models of of bacteria, and we're trying to understand um, how bacteria consume their food, the sugars, and break those down into produce different products. Um, and so we're really leveraging the information, the basic research uh, discoveries that were, you know, created or found in the 50s and 60s, and the last century, half century, that enable us to build these computational models and do our work. Where does the money for this basic research come from? Really, the main source of funding of basic research in this country is the federal government, and the two major sources of research is the NIH, the National Institute of Health which is the largest biomedical research funder in the world, and I, I must say a crown jewel in our system, and the National Science Foundation, and there are also others like the Department of Defense, uh, DARPA, NHTSA, and things of that sort. What, what is the, Jennifer, what is the largest problem with funding? Is it getting the initial money or keeping the flow? Because these projects go on for decades. Yeah, so it definitely is probably a little bit of both, is getting the initial funding, but then, um, so most of our funding periods are maybe three to five years, depending on which agency and which grant you have applied for. Um, so that is kind of a critical thing, is that most of our graduate students, we take them on for five years, right? So we make a five-year commitment on their project, and so what happens is maybe midway through their graduate career, we're having to reapply for funding, and the funding may or may not come through. I don't believe that the politicians of this country would allow the United States to lose its preeminence in science. And once people become aware of that, I think, I think they'll stabilize that. Thank you both very much. Good luck. 2034, we'll still be in front, we hope. Thank America you. in 2034, I, I leading, the world, leading the world, leading the world.